This video was made possible by GamersGate.com. Download games anytime, anywhere. Skip it up and that up. So Infinity War themselves finally explains why Call of Duty Ghosts on the Xbox One is only going to be 720p and they were able to get it to 1080p on the PS4. Mark Rubin explained why it's only 720p on the Xbox One. This is what he said. It was very possible we could have gotten Call of Duty Ghosts to native 1080p on the Xbox One. I mean, I've seen it working at 1080p native. It just, we couldn't get the frame rate in the neighborhood we wanted it to be. And it wasn't lack of effort. It wasn't like we did this at the last minute. We had the theoretical hardware for a long time. That's the thing you get pretty quickly, and that doesn't change dramatically. It was more of resource allocation. The resource allocation is different on the consoles. That huge web of tangled resources, whether it's threads based or it's GPU threads, or if it's memory, whatever it is, optimization is something that could go theoretically on forever. So his remarks kind of contradict themselves. It's kind of like me saying, well, I could run Crisis 3, on a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 8800, but at 1080p, but it would run at like 10 frames per second, but we could do it. We could totally just, I could run Crisis 3 at 1080p on an 8800 GTX, but it just would run as a, like a slideshow. So you couldn't get it to run at 1080p at 60 frames per second. You had to, de you had to lower the resolution to 720p you couldn't get it to run optimally. So therefore, you could not get the game to run at 1080p on the Xbox One. Stop damage controlling, you couldn't do it. Now, I know exactly verbatim what I'm going to hear in the comments section, and that is not what I'm getting at with these videos. Here, here is, a, I'm gonna quote exactly what I'm gonna see in the comments section. Okay there, Mr. Man Titties All About Graphics, Mr. PC Elitist. Well, guess what? I play games, I don't play pixels. I don't play resolutions. Who cares what the resolution is? As long as the game is fun, that's all that matters. So there, go suck on your own nipple, ha! Huh? All right, maybe I went a little over the top, but you get the point. Look, I don't give a shit about resolutions either, okay? If I was so worried about resolutions, even with Review Tech USA, I wouldn't buy the PS4 or Xbox One, and I would just game on my PC, and my channel would be just fine. All right, yes, it's going to benefit my channel to have both consoles, but I would live without them. I'm actually looking forward to the next-gen systems. But my concern is, and this is what developers were saying with the seventh generation, we're going into the eighth one now, is that they were, they were stifled by the limited hardware. They were stuck in this corner, they couldn't innovate, we need next-gen systems, we need more RAM, we need more processing power, and now that they have it, it seems like they're already maxing it out. Like, okay, you know, it's like kind of like when you're on a train and you're sitting in a seat, yeah, you could, you could, people are on side by side, they moved over because one guy left. You could stretch out your arms a little more, but not that much because you'll end up hitting someone in the face. It's like, okay, they have more room to breathe, but just barely. And it concerns me. And I know Mark Rubin in the same article, I read the whole article, he says that, yo, in, in, the, in the future, later, we'll be able to, you know, once we get used to the hardware, we'll be able to maximize the consoles more, and we'll be able to get better graphics, better visuals, and better performance. I saw that at the bottom of the article. I get it. But the thing to me is, everyone was saying, oh, these next-gen systems are just like PCs. So which one is it? That was the whole thing with them. Oh, they're going to be so easy to program for with the x86 64-bit architecture. All the developers are used to it. But now they're saying when, when games aren't becoming full 1080p, oh, you know, in the future, well, once we wrap our mind around the hardware more, we'll be able to do it. So which one is it, developers and, and the hardware makers? Is it, you know, they need more time or is the hardware very easy to program for from the get-go? Don't say which one is convenient at the moment. So do you see what I'm saying? Are you starting to wrap your mind around why I'm concerned about this? And the same with the PlayStation 4. Battlefield 4 and the PlayStation 4 is only 900p. It's confirmed now. So they had to cut corners on the PlayStation 4 too, which it's not almighty like people are making it out to be. And it's not, like I said, it's not about the graphics for the sake of graphics. Oh my God, graphics. It's my concern is where are these consoles going to be in four years, five years, 
when we're already starting to tap them out and they're not even on store shelves yet. They're not even on store shelves and developers are hitting walls on both platforms. What's going to happen? That's my concern. They wanted all this extra hardware, this extra horsepower for innovation, but they're already tapping it out, it seems like. So are they going to be able to innovate when the hardware is truly limited a few years down the line? That's what I'm concerned about. So, all right, guys, leave your thoughts on this. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.